I'm Rob Wilson, you're watching the Video Gadgets Journal, and if Airshow, the iOS screen recording app, recently broke on you, this is how to get it working again. To directly record your iOS screen, you need two apps, Show.tv and Airshow. After a recent update, however, you might have hit a problem whereby you try to open Airshow and it tells you you need to download Show.tv, even though you already have. So here's how to get it all working again from scratch with Neva app installed on your iOS device. First order of business is to get on over to the App Store and search for show.tv. It's very important to download the official version of the app. If you see any show apps with a price, they are fake, so don't download them. But when you do find the official show.tv app, simply install it like you usually would. The next part is downloading Airshow itself. Now I have found one link of the app that does work, but you need to put this link into a Chrome browser. For some unexplained reason, putting the link into Safari gets the browser stuck in a big bad loop. Anyway, the link is on screen now and is cherryroad.xyz forward slash airshow. I have no idea how long this link is going to last, so download Airshow from there as soon as possible. Now whenever you download an app from outside of the App Store, it doesn't usually work straight away. And if I go to the Airshoe app and try and launch it, it will tell me that it's untrusted. Fortunately there is a simple fix for this, but just as a friendly reminder, you do all this at your own risk. With that said, go to Settings and on the General tab scroll down to Device Management. Here there will be an option for Wise Technologies. Tap on it and then tap on the blue wording and finally tap the red Trust button from the pop-up. That should get your Airshow app working, so the next thing to do is launch it. This time, instead of a message whinging about not having show.tv, it should ask you to create an account or log in. Once you reach this point, it should be business as usual. When you've sorted out your login credentials, the app will launch where you can record in the usual manner, which is to press on the next step button, bring up AirPlay from the control center, select your iOS device from AirPlay and enable screen mirroring. How to use Airshoe is all explained in much more detail in my full tutorial and there is a link to that in the top right hand corner of the screen right now. And just to prove that this is all legitimate, I am currently setting up a recording of my iOS screen to show you today's date. Thanks for watching, I hope this helps fix your Airshoe recording problems and if it does, let me know in the comments below and share this with anyone who might find it useful. If you do have any problems with this technique, don't be afraid to ask and I'll try and help as best as I can. Enjoy the rest of your tech day.